guys. Hello. So we are finally here to the, our last K influencer video. In this topic, we will talk about weird superstitions that uh, Korea has. Yes. So we searched and we found uh, some superstitions. I think we have 12 superstitions to tell you about, uh, specifically to Koreans and what they believe uh, it's good or bad or what to do or not to do in certain days or times or periods or whatever. <laughs> so this is also part of our series with things that they don't tell you before coming to Korea because I don't think anyone tells you superstitions before coming to Korea. So let's get into the video. The first superstition it's that giving shoes to your partner <laughs> I'm sorry but this is so funny as a present will make them go away so if you give them a shoe like shoes like and like as a present they might like like you may break up well I, I can get I can get a pair of Jordans and I can break up <laughs> the next one is actually related to do not put mirrors in front of a door while in Western countries breaking a mirror will uh, bring you good, uh, bad luck in Asian countries actually putting a mirror in front of a door means not le uh, letting the luck to enter in your house so basically making the luck go away can kill you actually i read about this in a news article so apparently like a few years ago like people in Korea is really really hard during summer so apparently like some people were uh, sleeping with the fan on and they literally like the next day they were found dead like or like respiratory problems or whatever but apparently like that's actually this is not really a superstition it's because by that time people they were using too much venom too much energy so that was a way to make them to think that or oh, you may die if you turn on the fan during the night so <laughs> that's why this became a superstition that the fan will kill you whistling at night summons spirits actually i knew this from romania like if you whistle in your home or at night you will bring spirits or bad luck so why whistling is often associated with feeling of happiness is highly discouraged in South Korea, at least as the sun goes down. In fact, it has a long belief that whistling at night can summon spirits, ghosts or demons and other unearthly creatures. A slightly less terrifying but still frightening version of the superstition is that the snakes will appear instead of spirit. Oh god, okay, I don't know how to do that, so yay! <laughs> Next one is taffy makes it stick. So if you, apparently like before an exam, if you eat something like sticky, like a toffee or like yot, which is like a Korean traditional candy, which is really, really sticky, the information you learn will stick in your mind, so you will remember way better when you write your test. I don't know if it works or not, you can try it. If you want. Be careful with chopsticks. The next one is actually very funny, I didn't know it until I came to Korea because in Korea if you put your chopsticks up, like this stick your chopsticks up in the rice, that means um, it's related to death because when someone dies they burn incense, so incense it sticks out in like usually two or three forms and it looks like chopsticks sticking the rice so basically it's similar to the funeral rite the rites paid tribute to the ancestor so if you do this will bring misfortunes or even death to you well it's like writing names in red ink it's a death threat so if you write somebody's name in a red ink that person might die because before apparently before the red ink was used to write the deceased people so that's why it's like related you know like oh you're already dead if I write your name out. Who know? Drinking. For drinking is really funny because uh, even though in Romania we have uh, uh, a thing uh, like if you actually want to do jan or like say like uh, let's drink together and you clink your glasses and you put it down that means mis misfortune. However in Korea if you drink alone that means that you will be forever alone. So if you pour yourself a drink while other people are at the table or drinking alone, that means that you will be forever alone. So never pour yourself a drink. Let others pour your drink and never drink alone. I usually do that, so probably I will be forever alone. <laughs> me about pigs will bring wealth i think like this is like not only in korea i think it's like pig is like in asia like the image of like good wealth because of a pig you eat a lot because you have a lot of money i don't know that's that's made by me so yeah if you are drinking pigs apparently you will be, be have a lot of fortune 
uh, and also apparently like uh, the pronunciation of pig is similar to pronunciation of uh, jade. So th therefore, many Koreans believe dreaming of pigs is something that great will be soon come to you. <laughs> Spirits follow you while moving. I didn't know that though. This Korean superstition is a very interesting and unusual superstition. Depending on how much you believe in them, you can uh, best bet that this one is definitely very believable. There is a belief that when you move out of your old home and move to a new one, can make evil spirits follow you during this process. In fact, it uh, shows uh, that a calendar when ev evil days or <laughs> best days are shown and when the evil present are not shown. What? Wait! There's a calendar for that? I didn't even know. Also, um, even to this day, the moving companies usually they don't accommodate movers in those bad period stays. And what I read about this was also do not clean your home before moving because that means that when you clean your home, you will bring the spirit, bad spirits with you in the other home. That's really crazy. Korea, you have weird superstitions. Four, it's an unlucky number, but this one it's like a lot of in Asian countries too because the four, the same hanja or like the Chinese character of four is the same character of death. So a lot of uh, buildings here in Korea, when you have like the elevator, they don't have, have actually number four, but F instead. Yeah, P and three. It's, I mean, the same, the same for Europe, like the number 13. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoy our superstition video. Yes. Do you have any, like, if you have any weird superstitions in your country or you know other superstitions about in Korea? Korea uh, in Korea, like, just leave it to the comments and uh, share with us. Yes, please. Yes. Also, thank uh, K-Influence Academy for giving us uh, opportunities to do these videos and learn more about uh, Korea. Korea. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like our video. Also, subscribe and push the notification button. See you, See you next Bye. time. Bye.